Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Hey, I had a great um, idea to share this video today because I saw that on my screen whenever I was scrolling through Facebook and I thought, how do I model that? Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this really, really easily. We'll be right back. All right, guys, let's get started. So first, a huge thanks to uh, Jeff Anderson for, um, uh, you know, kind of putting this, kind of putting this in uh, front of me. Um, I had, I actually commented on it. Uh, I, I was like, oh, that'd be great. And I, the first thing I did was I went into x -Lice and I'm like, man, there's got to be a way to do this with the arch model because the arch model has layers. If you're familiar with building marches, arches and X-Lights, um, then by all means you can use the arch model. But the problem is, is if you use the arch model, the spaces are too far apart to do them from left to right linear. And I thought, man, this would be a good time to go in and ask for an alternate wiring path for the arches uh, so that you could hop up and then back down. And then I thought, no, wait a minute. Keith already added functionality into x Lights by making the spinner model do the alternate wiring. So I'm going to show you this model here, which is what I first created, and I forgot that Keith had added this, and then you'll see where I actually figured it out, and I added it into the post uh, down below. Oh, you can't see uh, because I, I'm blocking behind. Anyway, we're going to do this, and let's go get into it now. So uh, let's just go into x -Lights. I'm going to take this off the screen, and the first thing I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to... Uh, lay down the art or the uh, the spinner model okay and the spinner model is right here and uh, so according to, to Jeff's uh, model I, I need to bring this up real quick so he's 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 using um, 100 uh, 221 pixels total he has 13 arms and he's putting 17 pixels per arm so let me uh, let me build that in here real quick for you. So there is number of strings, one string. Uh, arms per string is, uh, there's 13. Okay, now it, it, it increased the size, but it's not done yet. So uh, what about hollow percent? Let's, let's bring this in because looking at the picture, it comes in pretty close here at the bottom, right? So let's, let's bring it in pretty close to the bottom. Let's go 5%, 5 percent uh, 5 there we go. That brings it in real close, right? And then um, the arc. Now, so this is where we're going to get into playing with some things. And you do. You have to mess with it to get it to work. But it works, and I love it. Uh, so let's get into the arc. Let's change the arc to, instead of 360 degrees, what if it's, all, what if it's at 180, right? That's half of it. Okay, fantastic. Well, some of you are going to be tempted when you see this to grab this arm here and say, whoop, I'm done. But you would be wrong. And here's why. Because the buffer in X lights is per default. And by default, if you go left to right, the effect will go left to right default from the bottom to the top, which would be in this manner. You don't want that right you don't want that so let's do let's do what we should do which is spin the model because we have a start angle that we can give it so let's let's go with like um, a 12.5 uh, 12 to 12 degree angle change ah so we're, we're moving we're moving in one direction so let's change it again let's we know it's going to be like a 90 degree angle let's try 90 degrees right whoops 90 and there is there is our model. Now, if we go in and we right-click and we look at the node layout. Oh, I'm sorry, the wiring view. Let's look at the wiring view. Wiring view is a little more uh, true. So the way the wiring view is, is it starts here on the outside, goes to the inside, then it goes out to the outside, then goes to the inside. That's not going to work for us. And the way around this is to activate our um, uh, our alternate wire ability which is changing the start location and we're going to start from the center and we're going to go either clockwise or counterclockwise whatever you do there's one way as long as you start in the center you're good shape right uh-oh we just flipped it upside down and we went 
clockwise. Let's try it again counterclockwise. Ah, here's counterclockwise. And now what you want to do after you create it in an X-Lite, so right click, look at the node layout. Oh, I'm sorry, not the node layout. Ding dong. Um, let's go to the wiring view. And you can see here that here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then leapfrog back to seven, eight, nine, ten. And here's your number 11. Now, did I put the right numbers in there? It seems like it's odd. So we had uh, lights per arm. We did that wrong. So let's go in and add. We had 17 pixels per arm. So let's go ahead in and add that. So that is 17. Bam. Way more high def. Um, and, and the reason why I want to do this video is because these have really started to come out to the forefront. Uh, I know a, a number of hobbyists have been adding these in. Uh, some are special ones. Let's say they're from Boscoyo Studios. You have to use, uh, you have to use the, uh, the custom models that are created for those in order to um, uh, utilize the spaces and the extra models that they might throw into it or the skips. Uh, so using the spinner model, if you're going to do, uh, and I'll bring the picture back here, if you're going to do this here um, uh, custom type of prop and you're building this and you're DIYing this, this is the perfect way for you to do this, is use the x -Lights program with the native model, the spinner, and we've already shown you how to do it. So guys, I hope this video helps you. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't done yet, so hit the big red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. So whenever I get one of these wild hairs up my butt, that you get to see the next cool video that I come up with. And if you appreciate what we do here at the PPD uh, YouTube channel, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club for a month or two and getting one awesome sequence each and every month. We make one... My microphone... <laughs> You get one awesome sequence each and every month, brand new to the store, guaranteed, and you get a choice of two others if you don't care for that one. So, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We will catch you in the next video. Take care.